This is a video about the scaling of a virtual lab pedagogy at River Valley High School. Have discussions to the key implementation issues on the virtual lab pedagogy. Plan all virtual labs in the same physical location. Admin account and password to update the Java runtime. Typical arrangement of a 12 laptop in a physics lab. Give an overview of the virtual lab, communicating the roles of the learners. Demonstrate the affordances of the ICT tool. During the virtual lab, two teachers can facilitate the student guided learning inquiry. It was an eye opener. How how is it an eye opener? <laughs> uh, we don't normally use this kind of. We don't normally have virtual learning experience and environment, so it, it makes learning fun and a more interesting experience. Um, we get to learn the concepts on our own, and instead of the normal way whereby the teacher just impart all the concepts to us, we get to discover them ourselves, which will actually help in us uh, remembering them easier. And longer as well. Yeah. Yeah, I feel the same way. Okay, well, great answer. Thank you. Actually, whether or not, I think the peer work really like make our workload lesser. As in the two of us, we can like, split the job with yeah. then we just yeah, then we just do our part and then we share our answers yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I think it's better than lectures because it actually allows us to um, explore on our own and then we can observe the trends on and study the trends so that we will get actually like um, use the theory or something uh, and then uh, rather than doing lectures the teachers actually just tell us we all learn more independently then we all figure out the trends and everything by ourselves so uh, somehow it helps us to remember these concepts um, better uh. yeah. this entire program really helped to like Help us learn better because it's very. How to say? <laughs> it when we record the paper, then it tells us the trend very clearly. Yeah, then we can learn. Then we don't need to plot all the stuff. Yeah, so it's very easy. It helps us to learn better. Because uh, if we explore the things by ourselves instead of the teacher telling us what to do, we can actually know more things. Uh, that are uh, not supposed to be taught in the lesson. Firstly, it's because of the cost, uh, cause the real life one is very expensive. Then, uh, if you use this one, it's actually much more convenient. did experiment ourselves and we got the results on ourselves. So we learned. So we did sort of like independent learning. And so this one gives you the values like data that you cannot uh, find that accurately in real life. Uh. So then, when you record it down, you can actually find the trends easier. During the lessons, students do collaborative learning through sharing of the data and ideas. Towards the end of the lesson, give the closure to the virtual lab. End off by giving a real-life example application to be solved over the weekend.